I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast, For the Health of It, episode 58. Remember to subscribe to our podcasts, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. We're talking today, we're answering a question that I get all the time in my offices. And the question is, why won't my pain go away? And so we're going to discuss that. We, if, if you just tuned in, uh, we're going to take this show, and we have well over 1,000 hours of other shows, put it on my website, drjoe.com. And if you're an audio type person, we're going to have it under SoundCloud, it's called, and you could download those. And then we also have something called the Dr. Joe Show, which is this show. And you could watch videos because we're recording this. If you're listening on radio right now, we're recording this on video as well. And you can watch it on the website, drjoe.com. The other thing too is I talk fast. <gasps> really? What a shocker. So I talk fast. So if you uh, miss something, go back. And the other thing, too, a lot of people do this is they'll hear a show and say, oh, I wish my brother Bob listened to this. I wish, uh, you know, Laura at work heard this. Go to my website and you can just send them the link and they're more than happy. I'm more than happy to share it with you. And the cost for all that is nothing. I don't charge you uh, for the podcast because this is information that I need to share with the world because this is healthcare that really, really works. I'm not against medication. I'm not against drugs in any way, shape or form. I just want to let you know that if your pain won't go away, there are options. Because patients come in all the time and say, I, had I known you were here, I wish I'd come in sooner. I didn't know this is something that I could have looked at. Well, I've been in my one office, my main office in Marietta, Georgia. I've been there for 34 years. So I've been here. It's around the back of a building. Same humble little office we've been in for many, many years. Started out there when I was a young kid with hair and everything. And uh, the, the people say, wow, this is amazing. I've driven by here. Didn't know you're here. Well, now come see us. We have offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. So I want to go uh, talk more about headaches uh, because uh, I'm a headache sufferer. I got in a horrible accident. I, I've told the story many times. Uh, and some, the reason I say things over and over again, folks, is people tune in and out. So if you hear me repeating something, hang on. We're going to get out of this little mode here. But I got hit by a car when I was, I don't know, 10, 11 years old in Germany. First time I ever went anywhere with my family, got hit by a car. And they thought I was dead. They left me on the side of the road. They didn't leave me there. They wait, had, somebody had to run and get an ambulance, which was far away. And the ambulance had to come get me. And so, but I jammed my neck really bad. Then I played football. I played hockey. I got in street fights. I did a lot of stupid things when I was young. I know I was a real thug when I was young, actually. And so the injuries to my neck are long-term. They've been there a long time. And so every now and then, even chiropractic care saved my life, but every now and then they flare up. So if you have headaches, let's start thinking about some things that might be causing it. Number one, by far most common is a pinched nerve. How about dehydration? Most of us don't drink enough water. When you're little, there's a part of your brain that controls hunger and a part of your brain that controls thirst. And as you get older, those two parts of the brain grow together. And so many times you have a difficult time distinguishing between hunger and thirst. So many times when you're hungry, you're not hungry, you're thirsty. Most of us don't turn to liquids or water specifically uh, because water doesn't really taste good or it doesn't get you high, like soda gets you high or alcohol. Came into the studio uh, today and it was little, little, little shots of uh, flavored vodka and little bottles. I thought, hmm, big party in here one day. Um, but we get dehydrated and dehydration can cause a lot of pain. And so one of the things I teach my pain patients is you got to drink more water because if you're dehydrated, you're not going to get all the results we can give you. We can give you the best chiropractic care in the world, but if you're dehydrated, you may not be getting all the benefits that you need. So make sure you're drinking enough water, bright lights, alcohol. We're joking about that. Alcohol causes headaches. It's called a hangover, right? And so many people, and I see this all the time with pain patients, they're doing the same thing over and over again, and they don't realize that what they're doing is causing the pain. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, inflammatory issues. We talked a lot about that, but digestion inflammatory, which I cover almost every show. Uh, so you may be eating something that's causing an inflammatory reaction, which is triggering the headaches. I can't do caffeine. It took me a long time to realize that. I used to date a girl and she said she can't do chocolate. So if we ever did anything chocolate wise, it was always white chocolate and I'm vegan. So getting vegan white chocolate was a little challenging. And she was vegan too, actually. And, um, 
So if we ever had any chocolate, it was always white chocolate. And I thought, well, that's her. That's not me. I'm okay eating regular caffeine and chocolate. Well, then finally I realized she was right. I was getting headaches as well. So uh, find out what it is. And what I do is I tell people, make a diet diary. Like I said, I, taught, I teach postgraduate a lot to doctors and, and, and colleges around the country. And I, one thing I always teach, get patients to write it down. If you don't have one, go to my website, drjoe.com under patient forms. There's something that says diet diary. Write down everything you eat or have the patient do it. And when I say everything, I mean everything. If you have a piece of gum, if you have a piece of chocolate, if you have a candy bar, if you have a, a, a drink, a margarita, write it down. Because what's going to happen is many times the patient diagnoses their problem themselves. They'll sit there and they'll go, oh my gosh, every Tuesday night I had margaritas with the girls and every Tuesday, uh, every Wednesday morning I woke up with a headache or I had digestive problems or I had shooting leg pain. Okay, let's cut out the margaritas for a few weeks and see what happens. Cut out the margaritas. Dr. Joe, you're a miracle worker. You're a genius. No, you, well, close to genius, not quite. But you figured it out. And I, I joke about that. I think, I, I remember in third grade, we did a IQ test. And I think I was like three points away from genius. Me and, you know, this girl, Carol, I can't say her last name. I don't know if that's HIPAA laws or not. But anyway, we were the smart kids in third grade. And so I have people write things down and they think I'm brilliant that I figured it out. When in reality, you figured it out. You figured out that the margaritas on Tuesday night were causing a problem. So that is going to help a lot with pain and why the pain won't go away. You could be causing things that are causing the pain. And then you have to start taking responsibility for that. Um, I said I had a patient come in the other day and um, MS and I, I told her you got to get off the artificial sweeteners. And she said, I don't know if I can do that. What do you mean you don't know if you can do that? Stop putting artificial sweetener in your body. Methanol, part of a aspartic acid, phenylalanine, methyl esters, methyl esters and, and aspartame uh, is, 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 a, is, 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 is simulates uh, the pain from multiple sclerosis, almost symptom for symptom. I don't know if I can do that. Doc, I want to lose weight. Okay, we got to cut out the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener. Doc, I don't know if I can do that. You can do it if you choose to do it. You can't not breathe. You can't not drink water. You can't not sleep. You can cut out bad foods. But the problem is these bad foods stimulate the pleasure centers in your brain. And even though that you, you finally figured out, gosh, the chocolate is causing the pain or the coffee is causing the pain, the pleasure centers are being kicked in and you don't want to give up that pleasure. So then we have to work on getting your body healed, getting the right nutrients into the body. Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, minimum amount of nutrients you should put in your body every day. And I have a lot of pain patients. And when I get them on good diet, that helps. The chiropractic care with the diet. Well, I've been to chiropractors before. Okay. Have you tried adding the dietary component to it? No. Have you done the supplements? No. Have you got your digestive system fixed? No. Let's get it all fixed. And that's when it's pretty cool. So you got to get on an anti-inflammatory diet, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. We all need that. Every disease known to man has an inflammatory component. Stop the inflammation. And we talked earlier in the show, if you tune in, you know, I don't know, 35 minutes ago, um, and we talked about how that happens, the microglia and the cytokines and, and the inflammatory reaction. And so that's on the beginning of the show. If you want to listen to this and uh, well over 100 or 1,000 other shows, go to my website, drjoe.com. And you can audio under SoundCloud, or if you see Dr. Joe's show, that's the video. And we videotape shows like this, and you can watch videos if you want to, or just listen to them. I don't care. And they're on the website, drjoe.com. There's things called overlapping problems. So if you have depression, it could be an inflammatory reaction. I know we've talked about this before. If you have an inflammatory reaction, could be depression, could be uh, migraines, could be uh, back pain, could be leg pain, could be gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, mood swings. So we got to get that inflammation down. And we do that by fixing the digestive system because if digestive system isn't working, you're not working. And people say, well, Dr. Joe, I'm trying to lose weight. I know you're trying to lose weight. We all would like to lose weight. As we get older, it's a lot harder to lose weight. So we have something called a 21-day protocol that we put people on. And it's a Dr. Joe weight, a Dr. Supervised Weight Loss Program. And we get you on supplements. And we get your diet straightened out. And the reason I do for 21 days is most people can't imagine a whole lifetime without all their bad food. So if I can put a, a time limit on it, this is how we're going to do it for just a few weeks. And then at the end, it's going to be over. When they get to that point, I'm going to tell you a little head game I play with you. People say, Doc, I can do this. This was not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. In fact, it was really easy and it's cheaper and I feel better. I want to continue this. So that's why we put you on the 21-day protocol. But it could be food allergies, could be mold, 
I was uh, I, t- I told the story already. I was looking at this house. I- I'd love to have a house on this one lake, uh, a little north of my house, and it's a great house. And one of the problems is my coworkers keep walking by. That's why I'm waving to people. So yeah, wave to another one. There you go. Um, a lot of people in, in, around the lake area have died early with weird diseases. And it sounds like, ooh, the lake is haunted. But every house I ever looked at that was for sale, I always smelled a little mold in there. And it's a terrace level that goes out to the lake level. And so is it the mold? I have no idea. Can mold be a problem? Absolutely. I do commercials for uh, one of the uh, roofing companies. I, I do an endorsement, it's called. And I talk about mold. And I say, listen, if you have a leaky roof, it's a lot more than just a leaky roof. There's mold involved. And if mold is in your house, it can be getting you sick. So if you have a leaky roof, it's a lot more than just, hey, it's an inconvenience or I could just put a bucket underneath it when it rains. No, you're developing mold and you got to get that fixed. So why can't I lose weight? It could be a gut issue. Skinny people have different bacteria in their colon than fat people. Now, I used to be fat. I can say the F word on the radio. I used to be fat when I was a kid and I struggle to lose weight. And a while ago, I remember I had a picture of me and Eddie Money. He was a, a DJ at one of my sister stations here. And uh, I put my arm around Eddie Money. And there's a picture of me and him. He's a singer, Eddie Money, Two Tickets to Paradise. And there's a picture of me and I'm seeing a little gut sticking out. And I never noticed it before. And I looked at the picture. I went, I'm starting to put on some poundage here, cowboy. You better start losing weight. And so I then started eating better and uh, I lost the weight. So we find that skinny people have different bacteria than fat people. And no kidding, this is actually a technique that they're using now and desperate, uh, how desperate we are to try to lose weight. They're doing fecal transplants. They're taking bacteria from a skinny person, fecal matter, and putting it in the colon of a fat person to try to reestablish good, normal, skinny bacteria in these people. So here's my approach. I think that's a little extreme. However, I know we gotta lose weight. Losing weight's important. What if we just took good bacteria into our body every day? Dr. Joe's probiotics, good bacteria. Now, probiotics are the good bacteria that you have in your body. Prebiotics feed the bacteria. So when you take probiotics, it's also important to take prebiotics to keep feeding them so they can make little baby bacteria and keep the body healthy. And things like Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source have pro and prebiotics in them. Where else can we get prebiotics? I don't know. How about fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds? The diet you should be eating anyway is loaded with prebiotics. And so that's why another reason you need to eat a diet consisting of a lot of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. If you are overweight, you're likely to have chronic inflammation and you need to get that fixed. And the reason people are overweight is because they're not eating right. And if you're not eating right, that leads to inflammation and your body also needs what we call micronutrients. Talk about that a lot. Small amounts of nutrients like vitamin B. We have Dr. Joe's B-complex. Dr. Joe's uh, essential source, a complete multivitamin. And the soil is different than it used to be. And in fact, statistically speaking, you men who are listening to me have 60% less sperm than your grandfather had. Wow, something's wrong. What if this trend continues? In fact, I always joke around, if you want to make an investment, make an investment in fertility clinics because it's going to be a problem, I promise you because nobody's doing anything about it. Sperm is dropping, two generations, 40 years, 60% drop in sperm. What's that telling me? That we're being exposed to a lot of chemicals. We're not getting the nutrients that our body needs when our body isn't working properly. That's a serious, serious sign. And so that's why you need, I supplement every day. I supplement many times more than once a day. I take Super Greens and Essential Source every day, Dr. Joe's B-Complex, Dr. Joe's Adrenal Support, Dr. Joe's Probiotics. And in the winter, You always got to take Dr. Joe's D, vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is the non-synthetic version, the natural version of vitamin D2. Vitamin D2 has to be converted into vitamin D3. That's why I tell you to take vitamin D3. And all those supplements, the B-complex, the adrenal support, those are all on the website, drjoe.com. So taking the micronutrients and help reestablishing normal bacteria in the colon can help you lose weight. Is it the only thing that's going to lose weight? No, you can't just take Dr. Joe's probiotics and say, I'm not losing weight, Dr. Joe. Something's wrong here. Well, what else are you doing? That's, once again, we go back to the diet diary. Start writing down what you're eating. It's fascinating what you'll learn about yourself. And every day, patients come in and they'll say to my doctors, "Uh, Dr. Kat, Dr. Dr. Irwin, Dr. Dave, Dr. Gail, Dr. Amy, uh, you're not going to like this. And they hand on a diet diary. And my doctors tell you all the time, I don't care what you're eating. 
I care that I know what you're eating so that I can advise you more appropriately. You don't have to apologize to me. It's your life. It's not mine. So the underlying cause of your pain is always important to get to. Treating the cause and not treat the symptoms. So do you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, headaches, blurred vision, numbness, muscle weakness? Those are warning signs. They're telling you something's wrong. If you ignore them, it becomes a very serious issue. So don't think that pain is just pain. And I can just cover it up and get out my day. You can if you choose. It's your call. But it doesn't get to the cause. And that's when we start having problems. Osteoarthritis, bones out of place, rubbing up against each other. What's the treatment for osteoarthritis? Put the bones back in place. Get on a good diet. Get circulation into your joints. Dr. Joe's nitric oxide. Get the circulation into the joints to bring the nutrients into the joint so the joint has the ability to heal. If you have clogged arteries and bad circulation and osteoarthritis because bones are out of place and pinched nerves and you're all inflamed because you're eating a bad diet, the future's not bright. It's not good. So in our offices, we always try to get to the cause of the problem. So if you want to make an appointment to come see us, and by the way, I think you should, go to our website, drjoe.com. And we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. My doctors would love to meet with you to find out what's going on. And if we can help you, if we think we can help you, we're going to tell you that. If we can't, we're going to tell you that too. Because I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. And I say this a lot, and it's funny because so many doctors love it when I say this on the air. Don't come to our offices if you're not willing to make some changes. Don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. And chiropractors, medical doctors, neurosurgeons, vascular surgeons, I hear it every day. Doc, man, thank you for saying that. Because my doctors are busy. You're busy. I don't want to take up your time and their time if you're not willing to do something. And I know you're not going to do everything. If you listen to my shows, I, according to the average person, I'm pretty radical. And you don't have to do everything at once. Do a little bit at a time. People are afraid, Dr. Joe, you're going to try to make me go vegan. No, I'm not. I'm just going to tell you, these are your options. If you're going to do animal products, at least do organic. I'll negotiate with you there. If you're going to do coffee, at least do organic. I'll negotiate with you there. At least put good, better choices into your body. And definitely super greens and essential source minimum. And then the other supplements as well to go with it. So make an appointment, drjoe.com. And we'd love to have you come in. We accept most insurances. Many times insurance has added network benefits. So even if our name isn't on your list, that's okay. Because out-of-network benefits oftentimes is better for you. Less payments. I know, isn't that insane? If you have the insurance, you pay more than if you and go to an in-network doctor than an out-of-network doctor. It makes no sense. I can't explain it to you. I wish I could. If you've ever been in a car accident, if the car was damaged, you were damaged 100% of the time. You need to come see us. So stop suffering. Stop whining and complaining. Come see us, drjoe.com. So we're talking about the underlying cause of the problem. We talked about arthritis a little bit. Arthritis, osteoarthritis is bones out of place rubbing up against each other. So if a bone is out of place rubbing up against the other bones, what's the most logical thing to do? Put the bones back in place, right? Makes sense. Every day, patients come in our offices, Dr. Joe, I have arthritis. I'll say, what kind? I don't know. Okay, well, there's rheumatoid, there's osteo, there's other types of arthritis. Uh, I don't know. Doctor said I have arthritis. Okay, what are we doing for it? I don't know. Okay, you can't fix it if you don't know how it works. That's the rules on that. My father was a mechanic. He tried desperately to teach me car mechanics. Picked up a few pointers here and there. It just wasn't my, my cup of tea. So understanding how things work makes life a lot easier. So what do we do about that? You have arthritis. Bone is out of place. What do we do? Put the bones back in place. Makes sense. So chiropractically, that's what we're really good at. We're really good at realigning all 206 bones in the body. And put the bones back in place. Osteoarthritis, mechanical. Rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune. Inflammatory, the body is attacking itself. Why does the immune system go awry? I don't know this. Okay, one of my uh, uh, coworkers, uh, cystic fibrosis. She had to have a lung transplant. The body was attacking itself. And the thing that got me a little crazy was her doctor said after the surgery, you need to eat as much as you possibly can to gain weight. And you can eat ice cream and cookies and cakes and donuts. Oh my gosh, I, I, I oh, mm. I said, no, that's not a good idea. You can gain weight by eating things like a lot of nuts and seeds and avocados and fatty foods, a lot of them. And she did, and she put on weight, and she's doing great. And I just, just yesterday, Dr. Joe, give me an adjustment, man, it's time. Got an adjustment? Okay, thank you. See, my staff and my patients are spoiled. This is what I've learned. They're so used to just, oh, fix my stomach, fix my shoulder, adjust my foot. I'm spoiled too, and let's get it fixed. And that's why new patients are so excited. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You adjusted my foot, my foot doesn't hurt. <gasps> yeah, I know. 
We're used to that, but you're not. So getting to the cause of the problem and not just treating the symptoms. And it's tricky things sometimes. Trying to find a cause can be tricky. Things like Lyme disease, L-Y-M-E, not L-I-M-E. Uh, Lyme disease, uh, kind of hard to figure out sometimes. Now, Lyme started in, is it Lyme, Connecticut, New York? I forget where it was. But Lyme, L-Y-M-E, uh, is when you get a tick bite. It gets into the system, causes problems. There's another tick. It's in Texas. I don't know if it's anywhere else. I know it was in Texas a while ago. That if it bites you, you become allergic to meat. I don't mind that tick, by the way. You get allergic to meat and you can't eat meat anymore. Isn't that weird how the body works? How the immune system can go crazy and, it's, and it can do plant proteins, no problem. It just can't do animal proteins after you get bit by this one type of tick. So we have to kind of dig a little deeper. What do we do? We want to get the nervous system working. We want to get the digestive system working. And you want to get on a good diet. That's the core of every other treatment. Whether you need surgery, whether you need physical therapy, whether you need massage therapy, whether you need a psychiatrist, nervous system, digestive system, and good nutrition is the base that I like to start all my patients out at. And then we send them out to other doctors if we need to. Doctors refer to us all the time. Hospitals refer to us all the time. One of my patient's husbands is a nurse. And he says, Dr. Joe, he said, I'm going to lose my, 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 bit, my license someday. I said, why? He goes, every patient that comes in, when we do a discharge on them, I say, listen, go to drjoe.com. Listen to his podcasts. Audio and video are both there, whichever one you like. SoundCloud is audio. The other one is video. And you could, you could listen to the videos too, by the way. And he says, and I tell every patient, as part of your uh, discharge, either go see Dr. Joe, at least start listening to his audios and videos and learn. Start taking super green. Start taking essential source, the minimum amount of nutrients. And I said, now, you're probably not going to get in trouble because we're taught, it's the law, that we need to refer out when something is not within our scope of practice. And this is why so many doctors and hospitals refer to us to try to get to the underlying cause of the pain, which is what we're talking about, why your pain won't go away, because it's an ethic and a legal issue. If you have an issue that you can't treat, you need to refer to somebody who you think can. And I said, I, I, and a lot of people come from this guy. He's a great source of referrals. Um, but you should probably listen to him. Get the nervous system working, get digestive system working. That's all on the website, drjoe.com. Gluten intolerance, celiac disease can cause an inflammatory reaction in the bowels. Now with wheat, there's different types of gluten. There's wheat gluten, corn gluten, rice gluten, but the wheat gluten has gliadin and gluten in it. And those are called lectins. Don't get hung up on a lot of terms here. But when they get into the colon, the immune system looks at them and says, hmm, I don't know what you are. I better attack you. And so the immune system attacks these and the lining of your colon looks like wheat gluten. So it can attack the weak, the, the immune system can attack the lining of the colon and that can cause some real serious problems causing a systemic inflammatory reaction, meaning the whole system becomes inflamed. So what do we do? We have to then go on an anti-inflammatory diet. If you're allergic or having a reaction to wheat, don't eat wheat. Now you shouldn't eat wheat anyway because it's a sugar and you don't want to stay away from sugar. But if you're having a reaction to it, stay away from it. Take the stress off the immune system. That's the key I want you to walk away from. When it comes to chemistry, physically, if bones are out of place, put them back in place. But I, I believe everyone should cut back on their wheat intake because wheat is an issue. Now, wheat, the type of gluten we're talking about is also found in barley and rye. Okay, this gluten and gliadin wheat. So uh, uh, gluten contains gliadin and glutenin and wheat, barley, and rye has it. Now, you may have heard of taking turmeric as an anti-inflammatory. I talked about that earlier. Turmeric is a great anti-inflammatory, but here's the catch. Make sure you take some black pepper with it because black pepper has something in it called pepperine. Sounds silly, I know. Pepperine activates the curcumin in the turmeric and makes it up, up to a thousand times more effective. More people I'm waving to. As they, I, I'm in a studio with windows all around, so I have to wave to everybody as they walk by. So... If you're going to take turmeric, I absolutely agree with that. I think it's great. It's not your end-all, be-all. Nothing is the end-all, be-all. Many times, it's several things you have to do. Get the diet right. Start taking super greens, an essential source. If you have acid reflux and heartburn, come see us. We can show you how we can actually adjust the stomach and pull it away from the diaphragm. Neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, arthritis, bones are out of place. Put them back in place. So the answer to the question is, why won't my pain go away is, let's find out. I don't know that answer yet, but when you come in our offices, we try to get to the bottom of the, of the, of the, of the, the get to the, the cause and not just treat the symptoms. I've had many patients, myself included, if the foot goes out of alignment, I sprained my ankle a while ago, I was up in North Georgia and I was hiking, I sprained my ankle and I started having aches in my shoulder and I thought, where's that coming from? And I thought, well, let me check my foot. And sure enough, I didn't have a lot of pain in my foot, but the bone was out of place. One of my doctors set the bone back in place 
my shoulder started feeling better. So structure affects function. That's why engineers make such great patients. They get that, nurses and doctors. And, and you could be a great patient too. So if you want to make an appointment, go to my website, drjoe.com, and we'll set you up a time as soon as possible in the Atlanta area. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Our goal is one thing, naturally get you well and keep you well. And if it's something we don't think we can help, we're going to send you to our colleagues that hopefully we can co-manage your case with you. So stop suffering, your friends, your family, your children. Please, folks, bring your children. And we see a lot of children, and I'm so happy about that. Because if children start out life healthy, they're usually going to stay healthy. If you've ever been in a car accident, if the car was damaged, you were damaged, come see us, drjoe.com. Hey, thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening to For the Health Fit. Remember to subscribe to this podcast, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern Time on wsbradio.com and on a WSB Radio app.